Science exists as a way to provide answers to the pressing questions that we have about ourselves, the world around us, and even what lies beyond our own planet and solar system. Mysteries that have remained unsolved for decades can finally be put to rest with the development of better scientific technologies and elements of ourselves and our world that we had no idea even existed can come to light thanks to the marvels of scientific research. Luckily, we live in a world where science has developed enough to finally answer age-old questions and discover these things that we did not even know in the first place. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be diving into three recent science discoveries and what they mean for our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. HD164595 HD164595 is a star in the Hercules constellation that is strikingly similar to our Sun. The two stars are both classified as Class G stars due to their size and characteristics, and while our Sun obviously has numerous planets orbiting in its fiery gravitational pull, it appears that HD164595 only has one planet, which makes a complete orbit every 40 days. Any time that a star and planet combination appear to resemble the characteristics of our own, a scientific organization known as SETI, or the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, carefully observes it as a possible location of life beyond our solar system. And while stars of this nature and their respective planets generally just continue as they always have without giving SETI much to go on, HD164595 is a little different. The star made headlines and raised the proverbial antennae of alien life watchers in 2016, when a very strong signal was detected coming from that region. The signal, which travelled the 94 light years between the Earth and the star, was still incredibly strong when it reached a Russian telescope trained on the star. An international team of researchers and astronomers immediately banded together to study the star further and attempt to determine what could have caused the signal and if it could mean that the planet-star duo housed extraterrestrial life forms. Douglas Vakoch, an astronomer who is heavily involved in the study of the potential for alien life, said in an interview with CNN that the signal from HD164595 is intriguing because it comes from the vicinity of a sun-like star and if it's artificial, its strength is great enough that it was clearly made by a civilization with capabilities beyond those of humankind. While it is hard to imagine a civilization that is dozens and dozens of times more advanced than we are, the truth is that it's highly likely that this could be the case, as our own technologies would not be able to generate a signal of the strength seen emanating from HD164595. However, researchers do wonder if it is indeed a signal generated by alien life forms. Why would they be targeting our solar system? Some suggest that we might be just as much of a mystery to them as they are to us. Since our own signals would not reach them, it is possible that they do not know we are even here in the first place. And while the implications of the signal being artificial are huge, experts and SETI researchers do admit that the chances of this being a call from aliens is very slim. Without corroboration from an independent observatory, a putative signal from extraterrestrials doesn't have a lot of credibility, admitted Vakosh. The greatest limitation is that it hasn't been replicated. Before we can give any credence to a signal as coming from extraterrestrials, we need to see it repeatedly to make sure it wasn't just a transient phenomenon. And while the SETI researchers hold out hope that the signal comes again, or the alien lifeforms reach out or signal in another way, the unsettling fact is that our own technologies are not advanced enough to answer the question of extraterrestrial life once and for all. If aliens do exist somewhere out there, then they are going to have to come to us, and if the signal truly was just a fluke, never to be repeated, it will likely go into the records as just another inexplicable element of space creating one more unsolved mystery. New Human Species – Dragon Man whether it be from a caveman movie or an anthropology class, you are likely already familiar with the fact that Homo sapiens are descendants of Neanderthals. And, while it is still true, 
it seems that there may in fact be a species that replaces Neanderthals as being one step closer to the humans of today. A prehistoric skull found in China is impressively similar to our own, according to researchers, and is likely more closely related to Homo sapiens than Neanderthals. Those studying the skull were amazed by its similarity to our own, with a large head likely containing a similarly large brain and broad jaws and big eyes. In fact, the incredibly well-preserved skull astonished researchers by being the largest skull of the Homo species ever discovered. However, he still had a few primitive qualities mixed in with the more modern that made the skull truly unlike anything the researchers had ever seen. The research team used computer technology to analyze hundreds of individual traits and then create a digital likeness of what the man might have looked like and what region each of his traits most closely related him to. When this skull was combined with a few other odd features in fossils that had been discovered in China, a new human-like species emerged. It seems that this species, dubbed Homo longi, lived and evolved in the same time period that Homo sapiens and Neanderthals were evolving and walking the Earth, and astonishingly dated the common ancestor between humans and Neanderthals to only one million years ago. This is 400,000 years earlier than previous estimations. As amazing as these findings may be, there are some researchers that are not convinced that the skull truly is a member of its own species and are instead suspicious that it could be a Denisovan fossil, believing that too much credence has been given to certain features resulting in misidentification and mistaken conclusions. The Denisovans were a less populous human ancestor that evolved in Asia around the time and some researchers doubt the findings of the original study, citing instead that they see links between the features of the skull found and those of the Denisovans. The skull, regardless of its origins, has a rather impressive story. Found by a Chinese laborer in 1933, he buried it in an abandoned well rather than give it to his boss, who was a Japanese invader. From there, it remained buried for the next 85 years, a fact which likely saved it, as an immense amount of tumult and the Cultural Revolution occurred during that time frame. He told his family of the hiding place and upon his death in 2018, the family removed the skull from the well and donated it to the Geoscience Museum of Hebei. New Signal Discovered in the Human Brain If you thought that we know everything there is to know about the human body, you would be wrong. The truth of it is, our bodies are so complex that scientists and doctors are constantly unearthing new ways our cells work to keep us alive. And one of those new findings is the recent discovery of a type of cell signaling within the brain that has never been seen before and has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of how the brain computes. Neurons within the central nervous system communicate with each other via action potentials created by an influx of ions such as sodium, chloride, and potassium that cause channels within the neurons to open and close, thereby propagating the signal. The key behind these signals, however, is that they are either off, meaning that the channels are closed and the action potentials are not passed down, or on, where the signal can be passed to the next neuron. A channel can only switch to the on position when an action potential threshold has been reached by an accumulation of ions, resulting in an all-or-nothing response. This appeared to limit the capacities of the human brain, but scientists knew that there had to be more to the story in order to account for the complex operations our brains are capable of. Finally, German and Greek researchers measuring electrical activity in brain cells removed from patients during surgery uncovered findings that show strange, graded signals in the brain's outer cortical cells that only diminished when calcium blockers were administered. This was revolutionary as it meant that the action potentials were being triggered not by sodium and potassium, but by calcium. What is more, the signals were not transmitted in a simple open or shut pattern, but rather triggered in voltage waves distinctly unlike the action potentials observed elsewhere in the brain. This seems to indicate a network solution of sorts is required for these types of signals, which has huge implications for our understanding of how logic functions realistically in the brain. While this discovery is going to be massively important for future generations of neuroscience, it can also impact future technologies. 
Our brains are often likened to computers, and for good reason. And looking inward can help to develop artificial intelligence with a more fluid capacity for learning, logic, and associated between stored memories. For now, however, more studies are needed to be able to fully understand what this new discovery means for our understanding of our own minds. But what do you make of these three scientific discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.